All right, guys, Paul from Paul's Carts here. <clears throat> um, kind of have a lot of stuff going on here. Micrometers and cranks and pistons and rings and micrometers. The new piston, a pick, cam, coil, old piston rod, dial board gauges, torque wrenches, regular wrenches, blocks, torque plates, um, you know, cases for stuff. We have the rigid hone, the side cover, the block. We've removed the bearings from both the block and the side cover. This is the bearing puller. We have an impact wrench, socket set, and the case with the different blades for the Lyle 1500 cylinder hone. So, um, this is the GX270 block. Um, this is the NR Racing torque plate that I use. It's good up to like a 92 millimeter bore. You can make it a little bit bigger like I did to get it to 92. Um, so whatever you're gonna use, we're using head studs in this NR Racing head stud kit that he sent in. So on the studs, I go 32 pounds on a big block. This is technically to me a big block casting. So 32 pounds on the head studs. So I take this block with the torque plate, bring that up with my torque wrench to 32 foot-pounds. So we're at 32 foot-pounds on the torque wrench. We bring the torque plate up 32 foot-pounds evenly, stepping up. <clears throat> After that, you take your micrometer and you measure your new piston. Um, you need to get a feel for it. Um, you're going to have a certain feel. When you get the uh, piston to the right side, it's going to have just a little rub. Um, after you get the micrometer to that size, you can then take and set up your dial bore gauge with it. And once you get that set up, you bring that to zero. You get it to read zero at the size that the piston is. And then I just set my gauge at two and a half thousandths um, bigger than that. Um, and that is going to be my gauge for when I am uh, boring out this block to 10 thousandths over. This is a 10 thousandths oversized piston, so this is all relative when you're straightening bores. Um, you know, uh, for racing, you know, you definitely want to have the straightest bore. If your bore, like in this case, in this old block, shaped like a football, <clears throat> what that does is it, is it causes ring flutter. Um, you know, this, this block is all over the place, four thousandths here, six thousandths there, seven thousandths up here. I mean, it's just all over the place for, uh, it was due. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna bring it back to a true, um, size, uh, with a torque plate and a rigid hone. Dress the stones on the hone and then get started on this. Um, so we're gonna go to the size of the piston plus two and a half thousandths. Um, and get this back to uh, a brand new running condition. When the cylinder is perfectly straight with a torque plate, um, when you put the head on, the piston rings, um, if, if, the, if it's not straight, if there's any type of warping in the cylinder, you're not gonna get a good seal between the rings and the walls, especially at high RPM, they'll start to flutter uh, because they can't, you know, they just can't move that fast and like open and close and so uh, you'll lose power, you'll be down on power. The most power you'll ever make. This is the heart of the engine, this is where you're starting with, so make sure this is true. So uh, like I said, this is the GX270 build for the um, sprint cart uh, for Don and TC down in Iowa or Ohio, not really sure, but Don and TC, you guys know who you are. Paul from Paul's Carts, um, just bringing you a quick look of what's going on today, uh, Wednesday. Um, we've pulled the bearings out. We're going to do the block. Um, the uh, mating surface on the head here, um, where the head will meet the block. Um, he went over this with a whizzer, what we call a whizzer here in Boston, which is a right angle grinder with a um, scotch bright pad on it. And he took the gasket surface off. <clears throat> you definitely, <coughs> sorry, allergy season. <clears throat> you definitely don't want to ever do that. Took a straight edge with a feeler gauge, uh, went through, um, you know, uh, you know, <coughs> two thousandths is spec, even though two thousandths, you don't really want that. <coughs> but excuse me, sorry about that. Um, every time this year I get killed with allergies. Um, but this block is like, uh, 
you know, seven thousandths, uh, you know, even more eleven thousandths, you know, some of the edges um, to the bore are rounded over where he came in with the wizard not straight and kind of, and that's right there on the gasket mating surface, that edge. I mean, the gasket surface is on the outside, so the, the last place you want to kind of mess up is the outside of that bore, but I'm going to bring it to the machine shop, have him uh, see if he can strap this on his mill and zing that clean. Um, might help us out. I don't know where the piston sits in the bore yet. Um, if it's in the hole a little bit, that might help us out on compression ratio, but Got the head done already. You guys have probably been watching the videos on that welded on intake tube. I don't know if I did a video of it finished yet. Still has to get milled. I'm just waiting to bring this down. I'm going to true this up, get this block ready, and then send the head and this block down. I'm just going to mock everything up um, with my paint and my clearances. I'm going to get the crank, the cam, everything like that mocked up today. So that way when this uh, head and the block is at the machine shop tomorrow, um, I can uh, clearance everything um, so when I get the block back, then I can start the assembly. So, till next time guys, Paul from Paul's Carts, GX270 Sprint Cart Build, Don in TC in Ohio. And until next time guys, have a nice day.